was quite enjoying that. Yeah. 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 There may never be another opportunity to get that again. Just one more time. Just one more time. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so my name is Wendy. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm married. Been married for 20 years now. Um, but we don't have any children. Oh, oh, sorry, some of your faces, they're not in a Kate and Jerry McCann sense. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, didn't want to confuse you then. We didn't sell them to a Portuguese paedophile ring. <laughs> Goodness, no. Uh, we actually tried really, really hard for the first probably ten years or so of our marriage to want children, but... <laughs> could not muster up the enthusiasm. <laughs> and you know what? When you tell people you've decided not to have children, they can be a little bit judgy. My female friend said to me, oh, you'll never experience the miracle of childbirth, the joy of breastfeeding, the sheer release of love you feel for your own child. Yep. <laughs> And you'll never experience the miracle of nipples that point in the direction that you're going. <laughs> the joy of a still tight vagina. <laughs> Thank you. And the sheer release I feel knowing I can make as much noise as I want when I come. <laughs> There have never been any children running into our bedroom saying, Mummy, Mummy, why is Daddy crying? <laughs> Some of the younger ladies in the audience might not be aware of what I'm about to say now. The older, older ones, I'm sure, will. Um, as women get older, our orgasms get longer and more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, get longer and more intense. Which unfortunately coincides with men's ability to achieve and maintain erection. <laughs> so I just married a much younger man. <laughs> On our wedding photos, uh, I actually look like I'm holding hands with some excited unsuspecting preschooler who thinks he's out to see some puppies. <laughs> uh, completely unaware of the pussy he was actually going to see later. <laughs> uh, we've been married now for 21 years, she said looking at him, because he's in the audience, obviously. Uh, 21 years, sex after 21 years is not the same as sex at the start of a relationship. Uh, at the start of a relationship, it's, it's like a shower. It's more of a daily occurrence. <laughs> and, uh, and if it's been a good one, you feel kind of tingly and invigorated afterwards. After 21 years, it's more like a bath. <laughs> more of a weekly indulgence. <laughs> and you know it's been a good one when every nook and cranny has had a thorough seeing to. <laughs> and you still feel a little bit dirty afterwards. <laughs> I've actually been working away a lot at the moment, and, um, well, she... <laughs> she has not been getting as many baths or showers <laughs> as she'd like. <laughs> she is hungry. <laughs> Really hungry. <laughs> Just before we came out here, she actually did say to me, oh, I do really fancy a salty snack, Wendy. <laughs> Her problem is, one snack would never be enough. <laughs> never. Because she is your classic carnivorous binge eater. <laughs> 
She's only really satisfied when she's rammed in as much as possible. <laughs> and she needs a napkin to wipe away the excess meat juice. <laughs> Working away as often as I do, it's quite dangerous when you've got uh, somebody as hungry as she is. Uh, we will be in a hotel restaurant uh, or a bar and she'll pipe up. Psst. Psst. Man at the bar. <laughs> I'm not interested, I say to her. I'm happily married. I am not going there. And then she'll try and reason with me. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. We're 250 miles away from home. <laughs> you will never see him again. <laughs> and then she tries what she thinks is the clincher. And I promise you, Wendy, your secret will never pass my lips. <laughs> Which, let's face it, is a bit of a problem, given that not letting things pass her lips is one of her biggest challenges. <laughs> so I make do with fantasies when I'm working away from home. Even they're challenging. She likes domination, spanking, and a little bit of fetish. I'm happy with copulation, wanking, and getting a little bit wettish, quite <laughs> I've said all of that, do you know what? Even though our tastes are very different, uh, and even though she can be challenging to live with at times, I do respect her, because when, I do, no, I do. <laughs> When she really wants something, she's not afraid to stand up, bend over, or lay down to get it. Thank you very much, everybody.